Good day, my name is Kobe Saifa and welcome to my channel. In this lesson, we will learn the right way to check for internet connectivity in our Flutter application. We begin by adding these packages to our PubSpec file. Next, expand the Android folder. Also, expand the app folder within the Android folder. And then open the build.gradle file. Within that file, change the minimum SDK version to 21. After the time of recording this video, any number above 19 should wait. Now, in a real world application, you will check for internet connectivity in the first screen of your application. In my case, it is the splash screen. And so from the main file, I am routing to the splash screen. Within the splash screen, I have a logic in place to check for internet connectivity. And so if there is no internet connectivity, I navigate to the appropriate screen. And if there is, I also navigate to the appropriate screen. Assuming that the user has no internet connectivity, the user will land on the no internet connectivity screen. Within the no internet connectivity screen, the user has the option to swipe down to continuously check for internet connectivity. If the user's device has been connected to the internet, the user gets routed to the home screen. If not, the user remains on this screen. Now, this is where the whole thing gets interesting. You don't have to check for internet connectivity on every screen. Assuming you have more than 20 screens, it will be a tedious effort to check for internet connectivity on all those screens. What you have to do is to create a single file that will help check for internet connectivity throughout the entire project. So in my case, I have created this controller file to help me check for internet connectivity throughout the entire project. And I did this using GetX. GetX is a state management tool. Of course, for it to work, you have to call it in the main file and then invoke the innate method on it. Now, let me walk you through a demonstration of the app. The app begins from the splash screen. Behind the scenes, we will be checking for internet connectivity. And so if the user's device is connected to the internet, the device navigates straight to the home screen. But if the device is not connected to the internet, the device navigates to the no internet connectivity screen. In the no internet connectivity screen, the user has the option to swipe down to continuously check for internet connectivity. And so in both the home screen and the about screen, I don't have to be checking for internet connectivity here. Why? Because I am doing this globally. And because of this, the home screen and the about screen all have access to that functionality. But you must have realized that within the splash screen, I checked for internet connectivity separately. I did that for you to know that if you still want to go ahead to check for internet connectivity in every screen, that is how it is done. But I must warn you that it, is, it will be a tedious effort. That will be all for this lesson. Thanks for watching.